it just happened so quickly. Nobody knew what was happening. So a lot of just anxiety and fear. As night fell and it got dark already, we knew that there were people over there that were disconnected, but we knew needed help. A call from the Coast Guard has gone out saying they now need help. The organization that has given us so much that helps us is now asking for help. We have to do it. We have to try. Station Maui, we're a one boat station. We're only required to have one boat operational at a time in order for us to respond. Given the magnitude of what was going on in Lahaina, we put out a call to any mariners who are willing to assist and Sail Trilogy answered that call. Before I leave the house, I tucked my kids into bed and I kissed my wife and I said, I'm, I'm about to go to a place where there is no cell service. I don't know when I'm gonna be back. So we kind of made that decision together and kissed her goodbye and headed down to the vessel. Met with the Coast Guard, it all happened really fast. They said, are you sure, are you guys okay to go out in these conditions? At that point, it was blowing sustain. 50 knots. That is the most nervous I've ever been out on the water. It was proper hurricane force winds. Without any exaggeration, the ride out to Lahaina was probably the most nautical stuff I've ever done. And then all of a sudden, actually, the wind just completely died. It switched from the roar of the wind to the roar of the fire. We saw the orange glow kind of of Lahaina. The whole town is burned out in the middle and it's burning on the sides, and I could feel the heat about two miles from shore. It was a site that I think would put the most creative end of the world movie to shame. Riley was able to take a moment and we prayed together as a family. We start setting up the boat to be a triage center. I'm envisioning who knows how many people, as many as this boat can handle. The first two people we took on board were two little kids and it was a brother and a sister and they were by themselves. That was a pretty heavy moment because I got three kids myself and just couldn't imagine what they must be feeling and thinking. We find out about maybe an hour later or so that they located the parents, so it ended well. Riley and the rest of the crew that was on Trilogy 2 were a big help, pulling out binoculars and looking for survivors in the water, conducting shoreline searches, providing care for survivors. Riley is a leader within this company, but I know the first thing Riley will tell you is that it's a team effort. I'm really proud of them because Everyone was on mission. Denver Coon, my cousin, Captain Travis DeWater, Captain Nick Shaw, Captain Kukii Walker, Maurice Bajon, and Captain Bobby Lechner, in addition to the Coast Guard. Everyone just stepped up big time. We train for not exactly this situation, but we train for pretty intense situations, and these guys really don't. It really shows what a person's made of when they're willing to do what these people did for their community. And I think that's really where it comes from, is their love of the community. To the Congressional Medal of Honor Society, I think it's great to spotlight people like Riley, to highlight the fact that Lahaina has a long road to recovery. He will always put the needs of those around him above himself. Riley wasn't worried about his own safety, more worried about helping the people, the friends, the family, the community, which his family is so much a part of. I don't feel like a hero. I was just doing what I felt was my kuleana. It means one's right, one's privilege, one's concern, and ultimately what's, what's one's responsibility. I feel like I was just doing my kuleana. A big mahalo nui loa to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society for this unbelievable award and recognition. It's not just an award for me. It's not just an award for me and my team. This is an award for the people of Maui. Thank you.